the castle. Where do we leave off? We have the uh, the top part there. I think we were looking at our, our handiwork. So we last episode we had changed this around um, to make this be a more of a rectangle shape. So, um, and then we're gonna add in the window here and then um, kind of standardize this some more, move the secret door. I used to have the secret door up inside there, but I've actually now just moved it down to the bottom. So I wanna verify that these uh, windows are lined up. I think this one's one lower than the rest of them, so I'll probably move it up. And, um, and then also we need some glass. So let's make sure we have some glass. I think we're out in our boxes there, so let's go run down down here. I have a tiny bit of drop frames. Not sure where that would be from. Maybe, uh, maybe close that. We'll see if, uh, if the drop frames stop. I don't think there should be anything else. Should we give me drop frames? But I have a little, looks like a little bit of lag, um, so I might have some Slight internet ish. Okay, are you? Right, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Looks like it's a pretty pretty low number. All right, so we have some glass panes here. Uh, what can we combine in your inventory? We do that, and then let's actually stock up on ender pearls. Is that enough glass that we want? There we go. Now it's enough glass. Okay, let's go work on the rest of the windows up there. Get up there, put that in, um, adjust those windows, and oh, I was gonna also work on this wall over here. I was gonna change. I was gonna get rid of the top windows, so maybe we'll do that while we're thinking about it as well. So this is no, oh, we have one more layer. So that one's okay. This one we're gonna get rid of because it's actually a little bit closer together. So we're actually get rid of this window. Um, this is uh, well, slick touch, but we don't have any. Space your inventory anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna get rid of that. And then let's go ahead and put in a cracked brick here. And then we're gonna get rid of one more. So be hiding behind here. Um well, I guess we're about to come right back through there. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Um, right over here, we have another window um, that is in the way. So we'll just get rid of that. Okay, perfect. So then over here, actually, yeah, I guess we can come this direction. This is another way to get into the royal area. Okay, so this is the first floor. Yeah, and this window is one lower than the rest of them. So we're going to come back to that. Let's uh, put in all the windows first on those walls. And then we can come back to the rest of the stuff. So put in the missing windows. We'll have to fix the roof as well because we've changed the way this all works. So we might change the, the whole way that the windows work on this wall to work better with the stairs and given the space. So we'll come back to that. Tower looks pretty cool from here. Yeah, I like it. All right, and then this window stays the way it is. And then over here, okay, so this changes. So we're going to remove this stuff. This used to be secret room space while the uh, spot that you actually stand on moved around, but we're changing all that. So, um, we could potentially leave some of this false wall there. Uh, we don't need this. This stuff can all go away. Then this window is going to raise up one from where it is. So we want them to be like that. Windows, remove the bottom windows, and then I'm going to remove these guys. Just shift all that up, up one uh, row. So 
let's go up here. Okay, perfect. And then we can put in the window that's on this side. Make it all uniform. And this is open here. Um, so this is a secret door that, that can stay. Um, this thing, do we have, if we have iron bars on us, one of these might have iron bars. We'll go ahead and put that in now if we do have it. Oh, well, I guess we, uh, we can have iron bars. Okay, let's do that. Um, let's get a crafting bench, although I think we have one close by. Yeah, we have a few. That was more than I needed. Okay, so we have that. So then what I might do, if this doesn't cut things up too much. No, I think, I mean, that's... Slightly cramped, but I was thinking I might want to have the uh, the path here, just so it lines up with this. So let's also perhaps consider if we don't have that, if that's better or not. I think it should have. Let's see this. stick with that we'll see what that's like okay and now this top part can change um, and we actually I guess we have a lot of extra blocks around so let's do that just so we can hold on to some stuff okay so I like this stuff on uh, on the outside so let's get our axe on the bar we're gonna replace the outside layer with, and I guess, let's see. So we have this being wood, or stone here, and then wood there. So I think what we should do is replace these stairs with wood. So we might need some more um, birch slabs. Let's see if that's enough. So we can just replace these. And then we can we can kind of conserve a little bit, so we can get rid. Or no, I guess. Um, trying to think how I might set this up. Yeah, I guess what I'll do is um, is I'll make it so that this is also open on the side, similar to the other floors, so we can actually replace these. Um, I'll make them just be too tall, and then we'll see how that looks compared to the other floors. So we'll go like that. So it's just increasing up by, by half a block each time. So then on the outside of this wall is going to have the uh, these stairs. So we might have to go find some more birch in a little bit. We'll see. So we have a larger, larger room area here. So what we did there is we actually, so right away I kind of stepped it over. So let's see how that kind of behaves over here. So let's, we'll get rid of this. And we want to have some sort of secret way into here. Um, so part of the question is, do we want this part to be birch, probably? And then 
how much of underneath here will remain um, remain open because it's not really usable space. So let's let's get rid of these, and then we'll see. So there's gonna be some sort of secret door coming up here. We're out. Out of birch. I think it might be all of our birch. I may, so I might have to go chop some more birch in a little bit. But let's um. Okay. Okay. Um. So let's put down some torches just to keep things bright. Um. We also can get rid of these, although I'll have to put in slabs to replace it. So we're going to end up doing that. We'll have to come back and add in some more stairs and stuff too. So I need more birch, looks like. Perhaps I should go get some. Can we, con can we combine any of these guys? Probably. keep a stack of that actually still in there but for now we'll do this try finding this guy and then I guess the rest of it we'll put in there so just I don't get the full full empty one but okay um, and our inventory is full all right so this one has some space we'll leave these up here for now and then we'll come back to it um, let's go ahead and uh, get back over to the birch. Um, we'll cut down some birch trees. So let's kind of pull down there. We have a little birch farm over here. Ooh. And I guess it's possible there's bad guys here, so I'll have to keep an eye out. We'll see. So that's where we put the ones we chopped down. We'll just chop down some trees. Oh, it's a cow. <laughs> so I don't have I don't have my iTunes set up, but Control the others. All right, it might be loud, but we're, I'm not going to be talking anyway. <laughs> so, I, if you can't hear me, I apologize. Let me know if you can't hear me. Otherwise, I will uh, just play the Minecraft music and chop down some trees. Oh, God. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome, Daddy Ogiz. Okay. I guess we can, just so we have some inventory space, let's drop a couple things off in here. And we can grab everything a little easier. Lots of trees to chop down. Nice relaxing. Chopping down trees. Oh. It got louder. Now can you still hear me okay? It seems loud to me. I don't know if I can change it though. Interface. Oh, whatever. 
Okay. I'll just stop playing. I'll just wait for Minecraft to play me some music. I wish there was like a setting. Maybe you could change the frequency that it would play game music. Like the Minecraft music. I recently uh, mowed a bunch this week and nothing new really. But it was uh, went one pretty well. <laughs> I, the reason why I bring that up is because I was playing Minecraft music the previous time I mowed. So kinda now, now it kind of reminds me of mowing. But I've been listening to a uh, audiobook. Um, it's been pretty good. I'm on book three, almost on book four of um, this one series. It's pretty good. If anybody does audiobooks and they're looking for suggestions, I have, I have some. Keep. Uh, trying to get uh, the lawn mode. Yeah, yeah, I'm having lots of, uh, luckily, this weekend I was going to mow on Saturday, but then it rained. But luckily, luckily it didn't. On, uh, I don't really have a good, any good ways to, thank you for the follow, Phantom. Uh, my bot is still mad at me. <laughs> I, ha I had banned it uh, last week, so it still is uh, not around. So it's kind of a shame. Ah, this is um, only for my patrons, so not able to join. But you can watch uh, either here and then also on. Uh, I have a big YouTube playlist with a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of videos. Working on this series, the, this particular me chopping down trees isn't, isn't very exciting, but I have. I've been working. I'm working on a castle. So there's there's kind of the view of the castle. It's the main part of the project, and then the town that I'm working on over time. Uh, the the tree chopping is just some resource collection. I've been uh, taking my accounting class this summer, so t we recently just started going over adjustments. So when you do your your end of the month accounting stuff, you account for if you're not using cash based, but if you're using accrual based, then you um, you want to do adjustments. So if you haven't been paid yet for some work you've done, then you want to account for that. Um, if you if you have been paid for stuff beforehand, then you you had it in a certain account, and now you want to um, if you've actually done some of the work, then you want to transfer that over. Uh, similarly, if you have um, like expenses that aren't haven't been recorded or um, uh, recorded or collected, I guess. Um, then you'll you want to enter those in things like that. So, um, so that's good. Good times. It's a, it's an accelerated uh, summer class, so there's it's going pretty fast. <laughs> but So we already have on Tuesday, because there's no class on Monday for the holiday. On Tuesday, there's an exam, the first exam. And this is the first, this is uh, actually, I guess the second second week of the classes, of the class. We already have an exam. It's pretty fast. But I'm only taking one class right now, so it's not, not too bad. Sorry, I missed your, your question. Uh, do you have your own business? I do. Yeah, so I have my own business. Uh, you know, web, website programming, uh, and then in particular, like I have a couple of web services, um, like uh, inventory management. So if, if somebody's looking for to keep track of their inventory, I have a web service for that. So what I wanted to do is, um, is manage it better. So I, I've kind of learned some stuff over time, um, like doing taxes and then doing them wrong. And I mean, I have an accountant that actually, you know, fixes it before I file taxes, but um, in terms of getting everything ready, and then just doing it completely wrong, and then having to redo everything. Um, so I've been learning through that way, trial and error. Um, but I wanted to be able to manage the business better, so that's partly why I'm doing it. Taking some business classes. I have a computer science degree, so I already have have that under my belt for the programming part of it. But in terms of the running a business part, I don't quite have that figured out yet. 
I know enough to be able to run the business, but but I want to do it better. And so now, like every time I go I have a different accounting class, I keep on wanting to redo how I keep track of all my books. Although I'm I'm cash based anyway, just because I'm you know a small small business or whatever. Um, so I don't I'm not really even doing like, all the adjustments that you'd usually do if you were an accrual 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 uh, business. Wife is starting a business and she has assigned me to keep booking. All right, well, there you go. Yeah, I, I've been, um, QuickBooks has been pretty good for me. My uh, my accounting teacher suggests not doing the subscription, not doing the online one, um, and that you're better off buying it and then like doing the physical download. Um, but I still might keep the other one just because I like having it all on the web. I don't like having to worry about saving the files on my computer and then do they actually exist later on um it's nice having to nice having the having it all live in the cloud i guess i'll look at the price difference maybe but since the services that i'm providing are if you need any uh web or if you need any inventory management uh for this business uh, let me know <laughs> i can hook you up but I'm still adding to it. It's uh, it's it's hard because I work full time, um, and I run my business, and then I'm taking a class, and then just all the other things that you have in life that take up time. Um, so I have to I've sacrificed a little bit of game time to do it. But I think it's I think it's worth it to pick up. So I'm doing some accounting, and then I'm gonna then I have like uh, it's a business degree, so then I'll be moving on to all sorts of other stuff. Luckily, um, because I've already have a bachelor's in computer science, I've already taken a lot of the other kind of general elective stuff. Uh, I know that some of the other requirements, so I get to skip a good chunk of um, other stuff that I've already done. And I can still do them if I want. But if I want to, like the accounting stuff, I've actually already taken this class, but that was like 12 years ago. So I don't really remember any of it. <laughs> um, so I'm retaking it. Yeah, so if you have if you have to keep track of stuff like the supplies that you're gonna expense and whatever, um, but again, if you're if you're cash based, then you're not you don't really have to worry about that as much. Um, so one thing I might do as I get further into um, like these accounting stuff is I might consider like um, setting up my my bookkeeping to instead of being cash based be a cru accrual based, um, and then. Uh, Keep track of everything that way, just for fun. Uh, it's a small vegan food prep delivery business. Not sure how much inventory management needed. Okay. Yeah, cash based. Yeah, it's the easier way to go. I mean, it, it depends on how you do the. Uh, like, even if you just have office, like office supplies. I mean, yeah, it depends on depends, I guess. But you might have, you know, inventory of. The food you have, and like, if you want to run reports on, um, on all kinds of different stuff, it's possible. But I won't try to sell you on that right now. <laughs> like, I'm I'm the person that likes to keep track of how much you have out of everything. So even like at home here, we're using my inventory solution just for our home stuff. So yeah, if we you know if we buy more. Um, we always keep like shampoo on hand, for instance. And so if I ever, I, if I, if my shampoo runs out, then I look in inventory, I see in which bin it's in, we pull that out. And now I see that it's, it's the last one. So then I, it gets added onto the grocery list. Um, automatically. I also have a grocery list, uh, menu creation website thing that's still in beta. So it, it automatically adds onto the grocery list saying that we need to buy more of that. Um, and then it, so then we're, when we're grocery shopping because I used it and, you know, it's sort of automated. So even just our own stuff at home, we keep track of it in inventory, but that's my personality. I don't know if, I don't know if everybody is into that. <laughs> All right. I think it might be good for now. Let's plant some of the, uh, these saplings, uh, just so we don't go, put them to waste and then we can head up 
back up top and work on the rest of our build. Okay, that should be good. Whee! Yeah, what helps is that I'm that way and my wife is even more that way because she's uh, like a blood banker and so and so she's like, you know, she's really into having everything in its place and um, things like that. So, so and she in fact she she wants it to go as far as like make it so that um, that the website would keep track of the inventory of our kitchen, so that way when we like eat something we you know we we log it for like here's our here's what we're planning on eating. Um, for and it automatically calculates based on calories and you know different sort of things. So if you want to limit how much fat you have or um, or like how much sodium you have or whatever, the website does that. Um, and so then you could just say, okay, now I've eaten that, and so it could deduct from your your kitchen inventory. Um, and so when it's actually generating your grocery list or your menu for the week, that it would look at the food you have and then try to use up the things that are perishable. And so I mean. A lot of the different features in that aren't quite in place yet because it's it's a lot to program, um, but uh, the idea is that we we get there. We'll see. Let's see how long it takes. Oops, that's right. That'll work. I wanted to make a crafting bench. At least I didn't shift click a crafting bench. That didn't make a lot of crafting benches. So let's make some slabs and some stairs. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, for yeah, for a food business, I I would think it's pretty important to keep track of, like, I mean, track keep track of what you have for, um, just in general, uh, so you know, like, I, unless you, unless you don't keep very much stuff, but if you are wondering, you know, do I need to order more of these things? Do I want to have this much of this particular thing on hand so that when you're low, it'll show up notification, um, saying that like you're low on a certain thing. And you want to always have a certain amount, um, and so then you you can reorder it. I'm still adding features into it, so there might be some stuff that other software packages might offer that mine doesn't offer yet. But the idea is that as I bring on more clients, um, then I improve the system to be um, to you know provide more stuff, more, more offerings. So I just just sort of as I go, uh, I have a few different. I don't have too many clients yet, but I have a few. Uh, let's take a look at this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're down here. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. I forgot that I did this. So we can actually make these be stairs. And then that'll blend in better. Yeah, okay. I like that. Um, and so there's, you know, like some of the different reporting stuff I'll be adding in. And actually now I, as I learn more about accounting um, then I'll be adding in more accounting reports and stuff that you might want to if you're doing the accrual stuff accrual I'm sure I'm saying that wrong um, then um, you probably are keeping track of stuff in a certain way um, where you you have supplies that are that are an asset and then you use up some of those supplies and to make an adjustment at the end of the month but you need to know how many supplies you've used up so having the, being able to just generate one report from uh, from my solution to be able to do it is probably a good thing. Um, so here we're gonna I'm gonna put in these guys, and underneath I will probably um, adjust uh, the floor a little bit or the ceiling I guess to blend in better. So this is good here. Down here, huh? Interesting. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so over here, let's actually replace these with stairs. Yeah, like that. That'll, that'll blend in better there. Good. And then actually, what is the roof of this? How does this look? Oh, yeah, we can get rid of this. But yeah, if you are interested... Uh, we have a 30 day free trial <laughs> and then uh, um, and then also I can give you a discount code probably although we, we already have a sale going right now but it's by we I mean me because it's really just me right now we'll get there 
it'll, it'll get it it'll get bigger but right now it's just a little old me I definitely want to get sales team that's the biggest thing is I really don't like doing the sales too much I like programming and then running the business um, not so much doing sales calls so that's one of my first people I'll bring on as a salesperson once we get up oh, cool So we'll put on this, uh, you know, ceiling adjustment thing that we've been doing. Yes. Okay. I think it looks a lot better. Uh, and then we're still going to, I think we're going to change the windows in that wall for now. We'll ignore it and we'll fix the rest of this. So, um, in terms of. I have a chest up there. I'm going to just throw some of the extra stuff I end up getting from this because when I break all this, there's going to be a bunch of different redstone related stuff. It's going to fall all over the place. We don't need any of that anymore. Okay. Um, this stuff can go. some drop frames. I wonder where that's from. I mean, I have a lot of tabs open, so it's possible something I have open is... In fact, I don't even have internet, I think. Oh, no. There we go. I'm back. Wow. Getting a little bit of rubber banding. That's a bad sign. Am I still live? <laughs> Am I still streaming? Ah, time up. Okay, let's try again. Seems like I still have internet. Hmm. What could be doing that? Let's look at my, uh, Could be causing my internet problems. Is it, is it fine now? Maybe. Okay. I guess. I guess it's fine now. Huh. Well, that's weird. Okay. Anyway. I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what. Uh, that was weird. I don't know what was. Uh, what was being weird. Okay. All right. Where was I? Let's throw some of this more up here. Keep these guys. All right. Um, and now we have the Minecraft music. Yeah. Yeah. What a bonus. Uh, yeah, we'll bring these down. Okay. Get rid of these random stairs. Get rid of the outside that isn't stairs. Okay. 
Yeah, I've been uh, for the re regarding like the cash based and accrual and stuff. I've been um, my accountant for my taxes and stuff. As I always talked about how I'm a cash based business, so I don't have to worry about that. Like I've always been like, so how do I? I'm buying this thing. Like you know, what do I do? And he's like, you're cash based. You don't have to worry about that. And then I'm like, okay. And then a little bit later, I'm like, so <laughs> I asked him another stupid question. Now I understand it better. So that's good. All right. Um, so this is, let's add in some lighting in here. That's where the bed's going to be. I guess the bed could move now. It doesn't have to be right there. Um, that has to change. Let's think about, do we want to have this thing, have the pattern go around? I've been doing some reading on different methods in it. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, the cash one is definitely the least confusing. If you don't, then there's a lot you have to think about. Yeah, so here I kind of have it going around. Maybe I'll do the same thing. In fact, we could even have the same pillar coming up. Let's make um, some fences. Let's try, attempt to figure out how to make fences. So we're going to need some sticks. And then something else. So let's try this. No, nope, that's gates. Okay. It's always the other one you didn't try. So let's um, have this thing going all the way up. And then we'll fit, we'll connect that together too. And that's the top, okay. So then we're gonna put in, probably need to make more stairs, but we're gonna put in the uh, border wing around the, the side there. So that one's actually already okay. And that one is going to be like that. Good to know I am not the... Yeah, I mean, I'm taking a class for it. Um, a college class. And so... Um, oops. Oh, I guess I have a bunch of wood in there. Um, yeah. So, um, it's a little confusing. Like, we're on chapter... 4 or 3 or whatever it is. Um, and so, like, now we're learning about the adjustments you do at the end of the month. And, but we're only like the beginning of that. So then there's another going to be another reading for Thursday, which has even more stuff. Okay, so now with this, this extra little bump, I could probably just fix and get rid of and make this be. That's not what I want. Or is that what I want? No, like this. Yeah. Yeah, I think it looks better. Let's fix that down here too. So we can. Oh, we have to do the. Down one more floor to fix that. So we have. So I'll have to make some more. So this is like that. I was worried I was gonna always do that. Uh, let's uh, make some more. Do I have more birch in my inventory? I know I have some in the in, in the chest down below. All right, let's grab. Let's grab some more. We just harvested a bunch. There we go. Uh, stairs. Oh, I'm level 100 on Mixer, everybody. Just wanted to brag a little bit. <laughs> um, I was uh, before the stream. I was 100. I was 100 experience off from level 100, and now I, now I've reached it. So this is what I did over here. Hmm. Is that better, like that, or? Let's, let's make this one be like that, like mailer design. So this one needs a slab. I don't think level 100 gets me anything, but I'm, I'm now level 100. So we have this design or 
this design. I guess maybe the first floor is better. Uh, or we could do some sort of combination, but I guess having this one not being going out as far as the rest of the stairs looks a little weird. <laughs> yeah, I guess let's go like this. So. Um, put these back to being full blocks up there and then um, make this only come out two. Okay. So one, two, doop, 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 doop. Um, so it's confusing, the, the accounting stuff, but it's really cool. Um, like all the, all the work you have to do, but it, what it does is let you know in a given month, like how's the business doing? Um, as opposed to sort of in a cash based where it sort of like spreads out or rather like you have more spikes. So you might buy something that's going to be for the entire year of service, but you record it right then. Um, and so then in, in that given month, it looks like that you are doing horrible because you, you've spent all this money and you haven't earned as much. But then the next month, you're sort of benefiting from the previous month's stuff. Um, and so you don't know, like, how much did this really cost me? Because last month, you know, partly you don't do necessarily every month uh, in terms of an income statement. But... Um, but if you, if you did look at it, then it, it would look like, you know, you spent way too much... Uh, one month, and then the next month, you're doing great. You you, know, you made way more than than your costs, but it's really because you're it's spread out, but it's not reported as being spread out. It's re reported as like when you um, when you actually spent the money. Um, so I might at some point once I actually learn all the stuff, because right now I'm still learning each of the each of the uh, the different parts of the whole process. So um, probably changing right now wouldn't be the best idea. I don't really know how everything works yet. I'm just I'm just just starting to learn. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the main yeah, the main thing is is like how is this business performing? Um and you can kind of figure it out, but really if you're able to say, you know, in accounting wise, we know exactly how much we have spent this month on on expenses for things that are just this month for like for revenue that's related to this month and then revenue that's related only this month and not including like if it's spread out or if you have some sort of contract that's for like three months that only the one month of it fits within that particular income statement then you're able to um I'm trying to find my bed <laughs> uh, then you're able to uh um, know how is this business doing so um, that's one of the real benefits because otherwise then you just have to wait until it's tax time and it's not even at that point it's not even like how is the business doing it's like okay i have to pay taxes so i'm filling out some of these forms it wasn't it isn't like it, how is this business performing and like where what's costing it a lot and like what can we change and things like that um okay so this wall that, that's where we're up to right now um, we still have the roof too, but we'll come back to that. So one of the things I don't like is this, it connects, this window connects here. So part of me wants to only have maybe just the four. So like this, have that window here. So that would go up to here. So this would be a blocked off there. And we just, at the stairs, we just won't have windows. I think I like that plan. Um, and that kind of fits for what I'm doing on this side. Oh no, I guess I do eventually have a window on this floor, but not the rest of the floors. Welcome, uh, Taurine, Taurine, Taurine money. 
Tureen. Hello, Greybird. Welcome. We're replacing this window. Uh, and I should actually, pulling the glass out of that, I should have enough blocks. So I think we're, we're going to be okay with blocks. Do, do, do. And then this guy gets replaced. I know this is only for my patrons. Sorry about that. Uh, call you money? Okay. That'll, that'll be good. All right. Let's put in. Uh, so we also want on our bar uh, these guys. So it's going to be four wide. And then we'll put in this guy. And I guess every now and then we might want cracked bricks. So let's put that in as well. Just because we can kind of vary it up in some spots. Put in this window across here. And then we're going to remove this whole window over here. So maybe it's going to be easier from up here, maybe. Oops. T took out the wrong block. Okay, and that guy. And then let's get, it can stay, I think. Okay, and then this goes back. Perfect. We're gonna fill in this wall. Uh, we're gonna to want to add crack bricks every now and then, but we have a lot of our, them already on the corners of it, so we don't need to put in too many. Okay, there we go. And then the same here. And then we take a look at this also from the outside, just to make sure that it still looks okay. I think that's. We'll see how far over I wanted to go. So then this guy goes away. Oops. And these guys. Okay. One, two, three, four. So then this goes away. down here what's next level so next level has no windows but it also doesn't have any there because i don't want this is at the same level as the ground so i don't want bad guys to be able to just walk right in okay so looking at these walls one thing we don't have right now are these uh these texture things so we could potentially put one in here if we wanted to it would line up with the window it's not centered though uh, i mean the windows also aren't centered the way it's set up. Oh, and I just need to change that one. Um, so I think I won't put on that extra texture, possibly. We'll leave it out for now. Let's fix the top window. Oh, okay. I thought there was a creeper in between blocks. It was just the grass. Okay, so uh, one more. I saw this bed and thought that I was at the top. I'm not. Okay, so this window needs to change. So I think we're going to have it be a four and then the, the next four over. So we're going to replace this with the window. I don't have to go that far over because um, we're going to have a window over there anyway. So window. And then a window over here that's only four wide. So one, two, three, four. Okay, good. Perfect. There we go. So that is the windows fixed up on that wall, I do believe. Let's take a look. Make sure we didn't screw something up. Um, so yeah, so if I put, if I put in a support pillar there, I mean, I could also just shift this window over by one, 
Um, And then we could add a double support pillar in the middle. Probably won't look very good. We could shift it over, because at least from this perspective, it seems like it should be over by one. Let's do that. And let's look to see how that looks. Um, I guess from up here, that might seem weird, because these are all next to each other. So in this corner, there's open space. Um, so would it be better to keep it like that, I guess? Hmm. Even number. <laughs> Let's make it, uh, make it there. That didn't work. Oh, it did work. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe we could try moving it over and just kind of get a feel for how it looks. So this is going to be take these guys out. So I moved those over. So that creates a bigger gap there. I still, I think that works. Um, we could take a look at that downstairs and then decide if we want to do something with um, support pillars. It's an even number again, so we have to decide how that will work. So I'll fix the ceiling or the, the roof. It's a little weird, but so I think that works. We should do something here. I feel like um, it's a shame I'm not real creative with like I not really pixel art, but like you know a lion head somehow uh, on the side here with <laughs> using uh, using different blocks. It'd be tough. It'd be tough if I, especially because I can only I need to keep that a solid solid wall. So I can't just do like half sticking out, um, like if it were stairs or something. Um, but it is one, two, three, four, five wide. So I mean, you can do something um, if you're trying to design something. It's almost like a shield. I guess if it was. Uh, Cobblestone, a little better. So let's start it here. Here, let's start it here. So potentially we could have something here. I'm sort of approaching a face, I guess. Yeah. Um. Oops. So 
So I can also change the materials of some of this. But we kind of have like a funny looking face. <laughs> and then I guess I should be, I should raise it up higher. Uh, I, if I change this, some of the materials, oh, I can also put, um, it's kind of inefficient to pillar up with. That's not bad. Okay. So what, what materials would I change that with? Um, I have a fence in there as part of it, so I couldn't change it all to be, I, I sort of some, limit some of my blocks. If I did mossy, it would be similar and then also be a different color. Um, so maybe I should grab some mossy uh, and we can reproduce this in another spot maybe. Or the same spot, but just a little higher. And now I wish that these windows, so I might actually make that window be a little bit wider just so it fills up on top of this. All right, so let's let's try building that down below, or up, up here, but uh, so we want to grab some more space. Uh, do we have mossy in here? No. Okay. Um, let's throw some stuff in here. We really don't have a lot of inventory space. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, all right, well, that's good enough. We, get, we have this this inventory space. Let's go grab some mossy before we end up the stream. And um, and then play around with making this face. And I might not really leave it there, but it might be kind of fun. So I already have... No, not really. Okay. So we'll just grab a couple stacks of these. And some more cobblestone. Okay. We will not grab more cobblestone. So now the long task of getting back up there. I think I'll have to just run it. I don't think there's going to be a fast way to try and get up there. thing is I'm trying to avoid bumping into walls and then I might be able to run fast. So. Oh, I ran I hit a wall. Okay. All right. So let's let's reproduce this, but let's use uh, I don't know if we're going to use all um So we need cobblestone. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna use all the mossy cobblestone or different combinations, but let's for now let's assume we're using all cobblestone. So that will make it all cobblestone. And then we had slabs and fences. So we'll need some of these. You can't make mossy slabs. Can we make mossy stairs? Okay, well. <laughs> I mean, unless you have to go the other way, like what do, do we have to do? Although now I don't have any more. I was gonna say, maybe we have to uh, go from slab and then add the moss to it, but I guess you can't. Yeah, maybe in uh, well, maybe in the next update. I don't know. Uh, all right, we're gonna keep it the same height, but let's try to add some mossy to it. I can't reach. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, we can't do stairs, so we can't use that block. Okay, so that's dumb. <laughs> Why can't we do mossy? What is this thing called? Huh. It's interesting that this doesn't show up in my list. Hmm. 
I guess I don't know this recipe. That's weird. I don't, I don't okay, all right, whatever. Ah, uh, so that idea didn't work out, but uh, we've made it accented a little bit. So we can also change that to, we can do things like quartz. Uh, quartz allows those different blocks, but that might stand out too much. Um, trying to think. I don't, know, I don't know. For now, we'll stick it like we'll we'll leave it like that. Something to think about, so we can have, you know, and, and some of the openings on the walls, we can decorate it with things like that, uh, with some sort of material. I'm not sure which material yet, uh, but we'll stick with that for now. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. <laughs> um, we'll fix the roof, I guess tomorrow. Um, yeah, but that'll be it for today. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Thank you.